I want to show you in this video how I paint orc skin. Everyone knows orcs are the best and there's no end to the different ways you can paint their skin. But I personally love the bright, vibrant way that the Every Metal team have been painting their orc skin. So I had a go at replicating it myself and I want to share with you how I do it in this video. These are the paints I'm going to use to paint the orc skin. I started with an undercoat of grey sear spray because I can get those lighter colours down first with little effort. You can start from any colour undercoat you want though, the steps are still the same but you may have to paint more layers of your base green. To get the green tone I wanted for the orc skin I had to mix my own colour and after some experimenting I settled on a death guard green and flash gitch yellow mix. I used 4 parts death guard green to 2 parts flash gitch yellow. Just think 4 brush loads to 2 brush loads to make it simple. If you want to paint a whole army, just mix half a part of the flash gitch yellow with a full part of the death guard green. This is what I did, so now I know I have the right colour for all my orcs. Once you're happy with your green, paint all the orc skin in this colour. It's always a good idea to dilute your paint first, and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Keep your brush moving and try and avoid going over areas you've already painted and then leave it to dry. It's always better to paint multiple thin layers to avoid clogging up any detail on your miniature and it also gives you a stronger solid colour which you can then shade and highlight from. Now that we have a strong green colour for the skin we want to give it some definition so I'll start off by giving the skin a soft shade. I mix bell tan green with twice the amount of Lamy medium to create a wash. This is going to weaken the strength of the colour so you can still get that strong vibrant green coming through. You don't need to use a lot, just make sure you cover all the areas of the skin and once dried it will leave a nice soft shade which helps the skin look more fleshy. Once that's fully dried the skin is going to need some more definition, so using bell tan green just as it is. I use this to pick out the deeper areas of the skin to bring out the details even more. At this stage you could go straight to highlighting if you wanted to, but if you're like me and you're a bit messy you can use some of that base green colour to clean up any mistakes. Try not to overdo this step though, you don't want to cover up that soft shade you started with. To finish off the skin I use Ogre and Camo to paint the highlights. And when doing this, you don't want to have a lot of paint on your brush. This can create thick blobby lines. A smaller amount of paint is better and will also give you more control. Take your time, you only need to pick out the more prominent edges as this is an organic surface. I now want to show you how you can add a little bit of interest and colour by adding some flesh tones to areas of the skin using a glaze. To make the glaze, just add some water to some Cadian flesh tone until it's quite thin. This will make it more translucent, allowing the green to still show through. The idea is to treat this like painting still, rather than like a wash. I like to glaze the tips of the ears, lower lips, and you could even do the knuckles as well if you wanted to. And build up slowly until you're happy with it. And finally to finish off, use Screaming School to highlight these areas. The orc skin is now finished and hopefully you can see how easy and quick it can be and still get some fantastic looking orcs. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and got something useful from it. And if you did, please leave a like, it really helps the video reach more people. And subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos on the channel and I'll see you in the next video.